Hey guys, Brian Schof here. Sorry it's been so long between videos, but I'm back with a great review. This one is of the incredible Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cartoon style Metalhead from NECA Toys. Unlike the other Turtle 2 packs, Metalhead comes in a window box like one of NECA's ultimate figures. It's styled to be like the VHS slip sleeves they used to release those cartoons on back in the day. So that's really fun. I'm running out of room here. Like, they're really good at making boxes I don't want to throw away. Just give me a minute here to free this little masterpiece. All right, so taking a look at the accessories, you've got six sets of hands. So you can have any combination of closed fist or open palm. So that's pretty much everything you'd want right there. The hands come off, and you can put this drill attachment on. Kind of pops in there like that. And the vacuum works the same way. Uh, the chest also opens, which is super cool. And the gun it just kind of plugs in right there. And uh, here, down below, you plug the wire in. So he's got his chest gun. And on the back, he has this on-off switch. I'm not sure, but because it, it wasn't in the first episode that he was in. Uh, maybe it's from the second one. Uh, that's the one that the vacuum is from. But this is a really nice touch because the vacuum has this swivel hinge on it. So once it's attached to the wrist, it doesn't quite match the level of the ground. You can actually change that position more to match the ground. So a lot of nice, really good, very episode-specific details here. All right, so for articulation, he's a little different than some of the other NECA Ultimate figures. Most of the joints are pretty well hidden by design and kind of blend right in. These arms are on ball sockets, so good motion there. Uh, the hands rotate, and you can see the joint right there. And all the sets of hands have the same articulation as far as that goes. The chest opens, which is a super cool feature because you can have Donatello operating on him, Krang putting something in there, yeah, whatever. You don't have to use it for the gun, so it's just a really nice feature. The head has this nice downward angle, but it doesn't, at least my copy doesn't tilt up very much. And it's not limited by the shell, which I'd have thought, so that's a little bit of a downer. But it's possibly a limitation of how the jaw works, because the jaw, oh my god, the jaw actually opens. And that is so cool, because like Bebop and Rocksteady, the mouth moves. And that really allows the figure to have a lot more expression, which opens up the possibilities much more, I think, than just a simple second head would have. Now, down on the waist, there isn't any movement, um, but I, I don't know what you really could have done with that. It's just kind of a limitation of the character's boxy design. Now, the legs are on a ball joint. You've got some great rotational movement. The knees appear to be double-jointed, but right now I'm only getting the lower joint to move, so I'll probably have to dip this in some hot water to free that upper one. Even though it, it's big, bulky plastic, I, I just, I don't want to force it because that's a recipe for disaster. If you've got a joint that's frozen like that, always, always, always dip your figure in a little bit of hot water and try and massage that out. Because otherwise you're just asking for trouble. Now the feet, they've got a little bit of sideways swivel, not a lot, but again, that's because the character is pretty bulky. You do have a lot of forward and backward pivot, so you can see that right there on the joint. So it, there's a lot you can do there with some low set stances so he can, you know, terminate the turtles or whatever. So man, I can't get over how good looking this is. It, it looks like it's straight out of the cartoon. And that's really the big draw of this tune line. It's just how good they look. And of course, all these unique episode specific little details like the switch here. It, it's just such great attention to detail. The only way this could have been better, and I'm really splitting hairs here, is if the eyes lit up. Because with the Fugitive Predator, well, the, the head is from Lab Escape Fugitive, but I put it on regular Fugitive. But they have this light-up LED inside with a push button. And again, I'm really splitting hairs, but if they put this kind of mechanism in Metalhead, it's the only way I see this figure being any cooler. All right, now here's a lineup for comparison's sake. He is in scale with the other Toon Turtles, and you can see just how massive he is over the regular Turtles here. And next to him is Bebop and Rocksteady, 
who are also pretty big. They're more comparable, but Metalhead, I think, is just a little bit bigger than either one of them. So you really get an impressive sense of scale when you start lining them up next to each other. And that's part of what makes this line so cool. Now, I'd like to point out what everybody watching this video already knows, and that's these figures have been extremely hard to get. I tried the online option. I was there day one, minute one, second one, and the scalper bots cleared out the inventory in seconds. But after stalking Target every day for over a week, I did manage to find one out in the wild. So scalpers, wherever you are, <laughs> screw you. I, I hope that anyone that wants one can find one. No one should have to give in and pay ridiculous prices. Toys are fun. This hobby is supposed to be fun, not frustrating, but I digress. So that's it. If you see one of these and you're a turtle fan, grab it. It's a no brainer. I'm really looking forward to the other tune releases they have coming out. So hopefully the distribution issues smooth out and there's enough to go around. Now, the Comic Con announcements just happened. So I'll be doing City Demon Predator and later this year, New Blood Jason's coming out finally. So keep an eye out for those. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. So thanks for watching. Till next time, happy hunting.